What is up VR developer? Welcome back to a new tutorial on Unity. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make fire weapon that doesn't suck with realistic reloading, casting release, muzzle flash, and so on. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss the next video. And if you want to support the channel and have access to all of the source code plus exclusive content, join us on Patreon. The link is in the description. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are inside Unity. As you can see, I've already worked a bit on the scene, nothing fancy, so don't worry. I've just added a big black plane over there, a little cube here that will serve us as a table, and also I've did a little VR setup with the XR rig uh, with and presents. This really is a basic setup that I've talked about a lot in my tutorial series on how to make a VR game in Unity. So go watch the two first episodes if you haven't already. But now that we have the VR setup for our project, let's add the gun. For the gun model that we will be using for this tutorial, I will use an asset from the asset store. So let's go to Windows and click on Asset Store. Then we can search on Modern Weapon Knockbot. And there you go, as you can see, we have this one showing here, Modern Guns Handgun, that we can click on. I've already downloaded to prepare this tutorial, so I just need here to click on Import to import it in my project. We can click again on Import. Okay, so now we have the Modern Guns Handgun in our uh, project file, so let me go back to our thing right there. And this file is over there, so if I click on it, we can open and go to Modern Guns and Gun, and then to Prefab, and then we can choose one of the two guns, so the black one or the silver one. So you can do whatever you want here, but I will select mine uh, black. So the Prefab that we need is this one, so the one with shooting uh, over there. And I can drag it in my scene. And now, as you can see, we have a gun in our little scene. I will go place it above the table. So how does this gun works? So as you can see, this gun has as a child, the handgun model, which has an animator and a simple shoot script. Also, we have the barrel location where the bullet will go out. And we have the magazine location with here the little magazine that is uh, not attached to uh, the, the model. Also, the gun is composed of different elements. We have the casting exit, we have the armor, we have the slider and the trigger. So that really is a great asset. It's like my favorite gun out there. And this simple shoot script is actually really handy and we will use it as a foundation for our own gun system. So let me double click on it to show you what's inside. So this script is actually really simple. As you can see, every frame of the game in the update function, we check if the fire one input is down and if it is the case we trigger an animation with gun animator that set trigger fire and if we look at this animation by going back to our gun and going then on animation and as you can see this will do a little animation to fire a bullet and on this frame we have an event that we'll call the shoot function and later we have this event right there which we'll call the casing release function and we can have a look at these two functions in the simple shoot script so basically this function right there will uh, shoot a bullet and instantiate a flash and the bullet prefab and the casing release function will well spawn as well a casing prefab but that is all that you need to know. So now our goal is to update this script to make it work in virtual reality and not just here with this input button. So let me show you. Okay, so the first step is to grab the guns. So at the root of the gun, I will click on add component and add a Nixa grab interactable component. As you can see, this automatically creates a rigid body. Now, finally, we need to add some colliders. So I think I will will create some custom collider for this game by creating an empty game object and calling it colliders. Then I will right click and go to 3D object cube. This will create a cube as a child of this empty game object. We can scale this cube to an appropriate size that will fit the top side of the gun. So like this. Perfect. Now we can maybe duplicate this cube, rotate it 
like 90 degrees and place it on the handle of the gun and scale it to an appropriate size. And there you go, we now have the two colliders that we need for grabbing a gun. So I can select both of the cube and remove the mesh renderer and the mesh filters. Now we only have the box collider of the, on these two cube. I can then go back to uh, the root parent and now drag in the colliders variable, the two cubes. And there you have it, we now have colliders and we should be able to grab our gun, so let's see this. Now if I click on play, so if I approach my hands and that I press on the grip button, now the gun snap to my hands and has a correct position, so that's pretty nice. But as you can see, we cannot fire the bullet by pressing on the trigger button, so let's do this. By the way, here for the snap of the gun, as you can see, it worked right away in this case. But if you want to change the orientation of your gun, you can do so by creating an empty game object as a child of this gun and dragging it over here and use it as the attached transform. Okay, now to fire bullets, let's go to uh, the simple shoot script and open it. Now instead of firing in the update function, I will copy this line, remove the update function and create a public function that I will call pull the trigger and in this function I want to trigger the animation to fire the bullet. Now to activate this function while we are holding the gun, it's really easy, we just have to go to the XR grab interactable, then to interactable event. And down there on activate, we can click on the plus button, drag the simple uh, shoot script and select pull the tr This way, when we grab the gun and press on the activation button, it will trigger this pull the trigger function. And by the way, you can update the activation button here if you go on your XR rig and change here the activate usage of the XR controller. Okay, so let's test what we've made. And there you go, as you can see now, if I press on the trigger button, I'm able to fire a bullet and I, I just love this asset. As you can see, the animation is amazing. It releases a muzzle flash as well as a bullet and we have here a little casing that is popping out of the guns. Well, and I know some of you might be a bit frustrating here because I didn't do all of the code myself, but like a wise man said, a programmer write his code, but a good programmer use the code from someone else. But now let's improve upon this system. So I think that the shooting animation is a bit slow, so I want to pull the trigger a bit faster for this. I will go here in the animator, we can then go on the animator panel that we can access here by going to Windows, Animation, Animator. And now here in the fire function, we can increase the speed of this animation to maybe 1.5. Next step, I think that this gun lack some sound. So what I'm going to do is add some sound when we are firing the bullet. So let's go in the simple shoot script. Now I will add two variables. The first one is a public audio source that we can call source. And the second one is a public audio clip, which I will call fire sound. Now to trigger the sound when we shoot, we simply need to go to the shoot function and do source.play one shot fire sound. Perfect. And now let's go back to Unity. Now for the audio source, I can click on add component and add an audio source. We can maybe decrease the max distance to 30 and I think I'm going to uh, drag here the special blend to 3D. This way we will be able to hear from where the gun is shooting. Then we can now drag this audio source in the source variable of our simple shoot script. And finally for the audio clip, I've already dragged in my project these three sounds that I'm going to use on this gun. So for example, to shoot, I will use this sound right there. And what we can do now is simply drag it in the fire sound. Perfect. And by the way, if you want to download these three sound effects, I will put a link in the description below. And there you go, as you can see, I think that this is already way better than Okay. So we have now a good foundation for our gun. Now what I'm going to do is add some realistic reloading for the gun. 